Hey folks, welcome to this Monday's edition of patch lifting and overall nonsense. Hopefully we have a better week than what we had last week. I'm getting ready to head over to Dad's again and we're gonna lift the fruit and we're gonna take it to Elkin, North Carolina. A lot closer, roads are a little bit better and a more sound fruit. Hopefully we can get one on a scale for Pops, make it the full distance and, and put a ribbon on his, on his desk or maybe a plaque on his wall with a little bit of luck. Hang tight, it's gonna be a lot going on today. We're gonna to be lifting some other fruit too. There's gonna to be some things to see. Well, we're here at the Albert Road Ball Patch Compound, looking at the 2356 Mindy. He calls it Mork, <laughs> which is just ridiculous. I'm getting ready to lift this gal up. Dad's already cleared out the patch. We got the poles. He's up at the barn getting some more items and we'll do our normal lifting procedure. The fruit, about 95, 97 days old. Good coloration, and boy, she hits nice. 2356 Mindy was obviously the 2183 with the, I think the 1686 stelts in it. So it's, hopefully she has some weight inside that pumpkin. Plants completely removed, like I said. Dad lost this stump a few weeks back. Not a big deal. Most of the fruit was grown with stump probably had 17 to 18 secondaries behind it while it was still hooked up. Stump was here, clear out to the fruit, probably about 15 to 16 foot tops. Stem's been healthy. It's one of the healthiest stems he's ever had, which is really cool. Don't think it's a massive stem though. I mean, you look at the size of that stem, it's a little devil. Normally I'm not a big fan of little stems. Insert joke there, ha ha ha. But realistically, I like those big fat stems, push as much into that fruit as possible. But I've seen little stem fruit do work. Hopefully this will do work for Pops. On to the lift. Always cut it off shorter. That's right. Look good. Nice and clean, let's see what it looks like. Not bad. Oh, man, these things are so tight. Yeah, they are. Big roots on these. Look at that. Breaking off at every node. Yeah, well, it's the morning time. It's nice and crisp. Yeah, not bad. Look pretty good, pretty good rooting. Look at those. Still down in there. Up, oh, boy, oh boy. Up. Oh. There's a noodle underneath your pumpkin, Dad. Is there a noodle <laughs> under there? Where at? I, it's just as, just as flat as could be. I think I see a mouse running out from under there too. Boy, oh boy, you better not. <laughs> so how's it feel? Feels heavy. Feels heavy. Well, that's what we want. I'm gonna tug on it, see what it feels like. Come here and tug. Alrighty, sir. I think it feels heavy. Boy, there is a flat pool noodle, isn't it? Yeah, it feels pretty heavy. I can't see the scale. Somebody put tape on the scale again. Daggone it. I think we're looking good all the way around, aren't we? Yeah, let's check the bottom. All loaded up on the pallet ready to rock and roll. We're we'll gonna head back to Lewisburg, my town, where we're gonna lift another couple pumpkins. Had another gross patch, Sarah Beth Baker. That's our next stop. Excited to see what she has. Haven't been to her patch before and help her and her family get a fruit or two on the back of a truck or trailer. Hey, Dad, it's off the vine. You can quit watering it now. <laughs> yeah. Trying to keep the sun from sucking weight off of it. I think it's a smart move, yeah. This isn't really something to add weight. This is something to preserve weight. Just like those bags hooked up to the, the secondary and the main vine there. That's uh, If it does happen to want to suck, great. It'll suck a little bit, but... <laughs> Watering until the end. All right. <laughs> We're finally <laughs> at Sarah Beth Baker's patch and looking at her fruit, basil. Yeah. It's a good looking fruit, Sarah. This is off of my 1965.5, right? Yep. Tell me about it. He sure is handsome, I think. <laughs> How big was your plant, Sarah? Oh gosh, square foot? I don't know. How, how big do you think? Probably about 450 square foot, I'd say. Something yeah. like that, yeah. A nice main vine, probably, uh, secondary wise, you were probably about 10 on each side. You were probably 18 i'd say 
Yeah. And you're 16 to 18 foot from the main vine. Mm -hmm. It's good looking fruit. Yeah. Nice fruit. Pretty. Like Stride. Got yeah. some pretty. First year grower there. kicking booty. We're getting ready to lift it though. <laughs> we had some, uh, we're getting ready to lift him. Had some battles here with some splitting right there from some stress. Probably my fault from not knowing what I was doing. <laughs> well, get um, your shears and do the, do the deed. All right. <laughs> all right. Where should I do it? I'd say right about there. Yeah, leave plenty enough for where we can get to the bucket. That? Go for or it. Go down here. Either one. If you if you leave too much, we'll, we'll take it in a minute. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. There she goes. <laughs> Let's go hard. Let's go hard. Look at that. How yep. clean is it? Perfect. Oh yeah, that's nice. Looks great. Nice work. Still getting like, already dripping dripping out of there. Won't work. Which one won't work? Well, I'll go through that no, that's that's a piece of junk. The, the, they're going to use those green ones. Those new okay. ones will go through. Cool. I've got I've got two more small ones. I just got to go locate. But I've got them. I know I've got them. Uh, ninety days. Yeah, probably ninety days. What? <laughs> Are you standing up to me? Such a wild Sarah, do you have any idea what you weighs? Our goal was 500 pounds, so I hope that he's at least that big. I'm crossing my fingers for now. I think we might be able to reach 500. Let's let him see what he weighs. And she went really heavy through the chart because I heard the hogs come. I did not want to get to you, I've been glad I got a good feeling you're punching across the pasture. Hey, will you take that side and make sure we got a great little experience with the highest you're prize good. of growing in this sport. But you've also, just a few days ago, hey, experienced one of the lowest take lows. Can you tell people, yeah. show, show people that, what oh, happened? <laughs> can, can you? <laughs> he, he had a, a pumpkin that was Take a slack about out. this size. Yeah, it back in here. About this size, he was taking it to a way off in Knoxville and hit a bump in the road and it caused it to. <laughs> went backwards, he slammed and he lost it. Thank you. It grown all season long, and I'm going to tell you, it's probably thousands of hours of work goes into it. This girl. It's thousands of dollars for sure. But, and it's uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Thank you, Chris. And that is just it's heartbreaking. I, I, I heard, my heart hurt when I heard about that. I'm so sorry that happened. Well, we learned one good lesson. Oh, he's carrying a machete. <laughs> okay, okay. Because then you had to clean it up and get it out of the way. You had to get it off the ground. And you can imagine if you're in a car and you're going to Come along and come from this. It could be a quite a traffic So, uh, yeah, that is a good lesson here. Remember that. But, uh, that's pretty, it's okay. And, uh, we're going to have a whole. Let's get it down. That's what we're going to have today. Okay. Let's get it down. 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 They get it up on the, you can see this one's so large, this is a 4x4 four four scale. And it's so large, that pumpkin's hanging over quite a bit. You cannot get it all, totally on that scale. Wow, that is a really wide pumpkin. Uh, but what is she estimate for? Okay. I'm going to wait to see if we have a hog coming. Alright, I'm going to cook the pumpkin. 
And it's already by us. You want to bring up here with you, Albert? You don't know your man? Are you his wife? Okay. But what's your name? Terry. Terry. Well, you can hear those to the other pumpkin widows over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A dinner bell? Okay. <laughs> you know when to come in? All right. What did you say? 1292 is your personal best. 1284 is our current leader. Let's find out if he's top to either of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1857. Congratulations, Albert. Oh, that's, that's great. I'm, I'm so happy that we... Well, guys, that worked a heck of a lot better than last week when we lost Hasselhoff on the road on our way to Kentucky. Nice to see Dad get the win, the black plaque with the fruit, 1457. Uh, new personal best for Pops. Nice work, Dad. He's he's cruising for a jacket. He's looking close. It's going to be a close call for Pops. So, so tune in next week. You're going to see whether or not he gets his jacket. I hope he does. Man, do I hope he does. Sarah Beth Baker with a 1080 on the scale off the 1965.5 Rota Ball. Nice fruit, Sarah. Well done for a first-year grower. 13% heavy. Nice. Just like Ethan Ramey's, 12% heavy. That 1965 is doing things. And she's a pretty fruit. Love to put her back in my patch again next year. We'll see. As always, thanks for watching. Check us out next Monday as well. We'll be back uh, with another episode. You'll see how Pops does, see if he gets that coat and some warm arms. Otherwise, we'll see you at the scale. Questions, comments, hit me up. Doc out.